Buckle up, buttercups. It's time for a wild ride. Yo, 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 Grandpop here. Guess what? We're diving into the awesome world of cars. Shiny, speedy machines zooming like cheetahs on roller skates. Imagine a giant, magical factory where robots dance and sparks fly. Hold on to your hats, kids, because that's just the beginning. It's going to be a wild ride, so buckle up, buttercups. From dreams to driveways, let's build a car. Ever tried building with blocks? It's like a puzzle, right? Building a car is similar, but with metal, wires, and high-tech stuff. It starts with engineers, the master architects of the car world. Then giant robots weld parts together like a super strong glue gun. It's like a robot dance party, but they're building a car. Every part moves smoothly to create a shiny new car ready to hit the road. Now let's pause for an important shout out to some of our friends. Hi there to Mia, Mateo, Layla, Zoe, Mason, Camilla, Carter, Jaden, Eliana, Ethan, Myla, Sebastian, Everly, James, Luna, Michael, Avery, Benjamin, and of course, Evelyn. Metal Mayhem From Sheets to Shapes Okay, picture this. Giant rolls of metal like massive aluminum foil just chilling in the factory. That's where it all starts. These metal sheets are about to go through some serious transformations. Kind of like when you get a haircut and come out looking like a whole new you. First up, these metal giants meet their match. Giant cookie cutters. Okay, not really cookie cutters, but these powerful machines stamp and cut the metal sheets into different shapes. Doors, hoods, fenders, you name it. It's like arts and crafts time, but on a supersized, mega-powered level. Once the metal pieces are all cut out, it's time for a little muscle. Well, robot muscle, that is. These powerful machines, kind of like the Incredible Hulk, but with way more precision, bend and shape the metal pieces into the curves and contours of a car. It's like watching a sculptor work, but instead of clay, it's metal, and instead of hands, it's giant robot arms. Robot Rock, where machines do the heavy lifting. Now remember those robots I mentioned earlier? Well, get ready for some robot rock and roll. These mechanical marvels are the stars of the show when it comes to putting a car together. They're like the ultimate multitaskers, welding, bolting, and assembling parts with amazing speed and accuracy. Imagine a robot playing a super fast game of Tetris, but instead of blocks, it's car parts. That's what it's like watching these robots in action. They're like the conductors of a symphony, making sure every piece falls into place at the right time. And you know what's cool? Some robots even have special sensors like super-powered eyes that can spot even the tiniest mistake. They're like the quality control inspectors, making sure everything is perfect. Talk about attention to detail. All right, time to put all those car parts together. This is where the real magic happens, the assembly line. Imagine a giant moving sidewalk, but instead of people strolling along, it's car parts on a wild ride. This is where the car really starts to take shape, like a puzzle coming together piece by piece. The car body, fresh from its robot makeover, starts its journey down the assembly line. As it moves along, skilled workers and even more robots add different parts. The engine, the transmission, the wheels. It's like a well-choreographed dance. Each station along the line has a specific job to do, and they work together like a team to get the car ready for the open road. And you know what makes it even more fun? Some factories even let you watch the assembly line in action. It's like a front row seat to the coolest show in town. Watching a car being built right before your eyes. Talk about an unforgettable experience.
All right, little speedsters, buckle up because we're about to enter the supercharged world of electric cars. These babies are like the superheroes of the car world, sleek, silent, and powered by lightning. Okay, not actual lightning, but electricity, which is pretty darn close. Instead of a big rumbling engine, electric cars have batteries that store enough energy to power a house. Well, maybe not a whole house, but you get the idea. These batteries are like giant energy drinks for your car, giving it the juice it needs to zip around town without making a peep. And the coolest part, when you plug an electric car into charge, it's like giving it a delicious smoothie made of pure energy. No more smelly gas stations, just pure electric power. Talk about being eco-friendly and cool. Now let's talk about the cars your parents and maybe even your grandparents grew up with, gas-powered cars. These bad boys are like the rock stars of the car world, loud, proud, and always ready to hit the open road. Instead of batteries, they have engines that run on gasoline, which is a type of fuel that makes them go vroom. It's kind of like giving your car a plate of super sugary cereal. It gives it a burst of energy, but eventually it runs out and needs a refill. Gas cars have been around for a long time and they've taken us on countless adventures. But just like everything else, they're changing with the times. Car makers are finding clever ways to make them more fuel efficient so they don't guzzle so much gas, which is good for the environment. Section three, diesel dynamos, powering the world one big rig at a time. Hold on to your hats, kids, because now we're talking about the heavy lifters of the car world, diesel engines. These big boys are like the workhorses, powering everything from pickup trucks to those giant 18 wheelers you see on the highway. Diesel engines are known for their strength and efficiency. They can haul heavy loads and go the distance. They run on diesel fuel, which is a bit different from gasoline, but gives them that extra oomph. Think of it like giving your car a protein shake. It's packed with power. Now, diesel engines have gotten a bit of a bad rap in the past for being a little smoky, but fear not. Engineers are working hard to make them cleaner and greener so they can keep on trucking without harming the environment. Section one, green machines. Saving the planet, one ride at a time. Okay, little eco-warriors, let's talk about something super important, keeping our planet clean and green, just like we gotta clean our rooms. Well, most of the time, we gotta take care of our earth, too. And guess what? Cars can be a part of the solution. Remember those gas-guzzling cars we talked about? Yeah, well, they can be a little tough on the environment, like that kid who forgets to take the trash out. But don't worry, car makers are getting smarter and finding ways to make cars more eco-friendly. Think of it like giving our cars a bath, but instead of water, we're using technology to make them cleaner, from using cleaner fuels to coming up with ingenious ways to reduce emissions. Car makers are on a mission to make cars that are easier on the planet. It's like teaching our cars to recycle, reducing, reusing, and revving up for a greener future. Section two, hybrid hype, the best of both worlds. Now, have you ever heard of a hybrid car? No, it's not a car that turns into a robot, although that would be super cool. A hybrid car is like a superhero with a secret identity. It has two engines, a gas engine and an electric motor. Correction. Working together to save the day. Air, I mean save fuel and reduce emissions. Think of it like this. The gas engine is like the strong, reliable friend who's always there for you, while the electric motor is like the smart, efficient friend who 
knows how to get things done with less effort. Together, they make a super team, reducing fuel consumption and keeping the air cleaner. Hybrid cars are like the chameleons of the car world. They can switch between gas and electric power depending on the driving conditions. It's like having a car that can adapt to any situation, whether it's cruising down the highway or navigating city traffic. Section three, battery power, supercharging the future. Remember those awesome electric cars we talked about earlier? Well, the secret to their eco-friendliness lies in their super-powered batteries. These batteries are like giant energy bars for cars storing enough juice to get you from point A to point B without using a drop of gasoline. And guess what? Battery technology is getting better and better every day. Scientists and engineers are working hard to make batteries that last longer, charge faster, and are even better for the environment. It's like giving electric cars a super duper energy boost. Imagine a future where you can charge your electric car in the same amount of time it takes to fill up a gas tank. That's the kind of future we're driving towards. With these advancements in battery technology, electric cars are becoming more and more appealing, paving the way for a cleaner, greener future. Eco Warriors on wheels. It's time to get charged up. So, my little Eco Warriors, what have we learned today? We've explored the amazing world of car manufacturing, from those giant robots to those super smart engineers. We've learned about different types of cars, from gas guzzlers to electric superheroes. And most importantly, we've discovered how car makers are working hard to make cars more eco friendly. Now, it's your turn to get charged up and make a difference. Even though you might not be driving just yet, unless it's those cool go-karts, there are still plenty of things you can do to help the environment. You can talk to your parents about fuel-efficient cars, ask about carpooling or taking public transportation when it's practical, and even start recycling more. Every little bit helps. Remember kids, the future is in your hand, or should I say, your wheels. By making smart choices and embracing eco-friendly options, you can help create a world where cars and the environment can coexist in perfect harmony. So buckle up, get charged up, and let's drive towards a brighter, greener future together. Revving up for a greener future. So there you have it, my little gearheads. We've been on a wild ride through the wacky world of car making, and let me tell you, it's been a blast. We've seen how those metal monsters go from sheets of steel to shiny roadsters, all thanks to some seriously smart engineers and a whole lot of robot power. We've learned about the different engines that make cars go vroom, from those classic gas guzzlers to those silent but deadly electric speed demons. And hey, let's not forget about those hybrid heroes rocking both gas and electric power like it's nobody's business. But most importantly, we've seen how car makers are stepping up their game to make cars more eco-friendly. They're like the, the environmental superheroes of the car world, fighting pollution and climate change with every innovation. And that's something we can all get behind, right? Dream big. Little drivers, now I know what you're thinking. Grand Pop, all this car talk is making me want to design my own ride. And you know what? You should. Let those creative juices flow, my friends. Imagine a car powered by cookies and candy, or a car that can fly to school and avoid all that traffic. Hey, if you can dream it, you can build it. Well, maybe not you specifically, but you get the idea. The point is, there's a whole world of possibilities out there, and who knows, maybe one day you'll be the one designing the next big thing in the automotive world. So keep those imaginations running wild, my little car enthusiasts. The future of car making is in your hands, and I can't wait to see what amazing creations you come up with. Just promise me one thing. When you're designing your dream car, make sure it's good for the planet too.
honk, honk, time for a green revolution. We've talked about the cars of the future, but the future is now, my friends. We can all do our part to make the world a cleaner, greener place, even if we're not old enough to drive yet. Remember, every little bit helps. Talk to your parents about carpooling, riding bikes, or taking public transportation whenever possible. And hey, if you see a piece of trash on the ground, pick it up. It's like giving the earth a little high five. Let's show the world that kids care about the environment and we're ready to make a difference. So there you have it, my little eco-warriors. We've laughed, we've learned, and we've revved up our engines for a greener future. Now let's go out there and make some noise for the environment. Honk honk, it's time for a green revolution. The unsung heroes of car making. What about all of those small parts that are used in cars? Where do they come from? Who makes them? And how do they get to the car factory? Well, buckle up, because we're about to take a journey into the world of car parts, many of which are not made at the same factory where the car is assembled. Every car is made up of thousands of tiny parts, each with its own special job. From the screws that hold everything together to the sensors that make sure your car runs smoothly, these little pieces are the unsung heroes of car making. Many of these parts are made by specialized companies all around the world. These companies focus on making just one type of part, like brakes, airbags, or even the tiny chips that control your car's computer system. Once these parts are made, they don't just magically appear at the car factory. They travel through a complex network of suppliers and logistics companies. It's like a giant puzzle with each piece coming from a different place and fitting together perfectly to create the final masterpiece, your car. So the next time you see a car zooming down the road, remember all the hard work and teamwork that went into making it. From the factory workers assembling the car to the companies making those tiny parts, it takes a village to build a car. And now you know, my little car enthusiasts, that every piece of the puzzle is important. And that wraps up our journey into the world of car parts. Stay curious, keep learning, and remember, every little piece makes a big difference. Remember to like and subscribe to Wise Hooter Learning. We need your help to be able to keep making learning videos for you and tester and evaluator. The more we know, the easier the rest of life is. So keep learning every day. For now, it's see you later from your friends at Wise Hooter Learning, Grand Pop, Tester, and Evaluator. Until next time, keep on rolling.